All right, on today's episode of Python Poppy, we're back inside our Tensor Flow course, and we are still doing our Malaria Confusion Matrix module, but today we're doing something a little different. Because we have to do so much running behind the scenes, so much compiling and things of that nature behind the scenes, I'm going to do a separate video on that maybe tomorrow. I'm going to take the whole night and just start compiling. But today I want to display some of my uh, prompt engineering prowess, as you wouldn't call it so far. I know I'm still a novice at it, but uh, this is what I've been coming up with so far. I have a little slideshow that's going to last about four minutes, and then I'm going to dive back into the uh, TensorFlow course or the TensorFlow module that we're doing. But yeah, these are just some images that I generated. It's a slideshow. Each image is going to be like a minute at least. So yeah. Yep, so these are some of the images here. This is the first one. The next one should be popping up very soon. Like I said, they're a minute apiece. <clears throat> and yeah, here's the next one here. As you can see, another prompt engineered image that I generated. Like I said, yeah, I know this is, doesn't have anything to do with the TensorFlow, but it was a busy morning with the TensorFlow because I have to do so much compiling behind the scenes. I have to compile one thing, then comment it out to compile a different version, then comment that out and compile a different version, then compare the versions. So there's going to be a lot of that going on. So I'm just going to take the whole uh, afternoon to do that and then document every version so I can uh, give you a comprehensive walkthrough of what's going on. So with that being said, I'm just going to uh, show you what I've been up to with my side project. Like I said, I'm going to be moving into uh, specializing in the generative AI career field. So, yeah, I've been doing some side projects unbeknownst to you. I've been keeping some things to myself. And uh, these are how, this is how far I got so far. Like I said, this is uh, considered prompt engineering. I know I haven't discussed it or went over it or anything like that. But, yeah, I'm probably not going to until I get towards the end of what I'm doing with the generative AI course, which, which won't be for a while. But I will be doing little things in between. And like I said, these are just some of the images that I generated using pump engineering. If you want to go back through the video and take a look at them, you will be able to spot some errors or issues with them. But at first glance, everything does come off pretty smoothly and they do look pretty good if you ask me. So, yeah, like I said, we have one more picture after this one or one more image after this one. It's, to me, this is going to be my favorite image. I think that's the one that came out the best, the one after this. But after that, I'll give you a, a quick glimpse that we went over so far with the TensorFlow module and then... Uh, We'll end the video there but yeah again yeah, this one isn't bad also like i said i like this one this came up but if you uh look at all the images and go back and check them all you probably spot some small uh issues and small defects you know maybe you can't maybe because i'm the one who prompt engineered them i can spot them but if you go back through the video and actually take a look at them you might be able to see what issues arise and what's what but yeah, like i said we should have one more next and then that's going to be my favorite one i just like the whole uh aesthetic of it everything yeah, this one here, this one just has a good feel to it. Uh, yeah, looks pretty good to me. Yeah, yeah, came out pretty good. Like I said, though, you will be able to spot some defects or issues with the images. Like I said, I'm still working at it. I, I'm just getting started. I've been doing it behind the scenes for a little while. So, yeah, it's coming along quite smoothly as compared to what I started. Yeah, so no telling what's going to be going on by the time I get everything mastered and down packed. And uh, just to give you, I'll show you something really quickly. I did add a new, uh, a new little uh, section here to my arsenal generated AI content. So yeah, if you're interested in that, feel free to uh, hit the email. Again, don't wait till I'm uh, don't wait till I'm busy and uh, a lot longer, a lot further along in my journey. Like I said, uh, if you wanna hop on now, hop on now. I suggest you do it now because there's no telling what's gonna be going on in the future or what. So yeah. Don't wait till I'm too far ahead to actually uh, be able to work with you. If you want to uh, actually get a uh, get a head start on everyone else and uh, you know get things moving forward, I'm more than willing to work with you. With that being said, that was all four images. Yeah, so let's uh, actually take a look at the uh, the uh, information that we did today in terms of flow. Like I said, it's going to be a lot going back and forth, so I'm just going to do a whole separate video on that because I'm going to have to compile it a bunch of time, a bunch of different ways, and that's going to take a whole day itself. So yeah. This is the, uh, yesterday we were supposed to run the labels for the actual module that we're doing. So this is a, these are the labels here, as you can see. You can see here, array. Let me move down a little bit more so you can see a little bit better. You can see array one. One is actually the label and array and everything else. It's just the information about the label. So one, 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 one. I don't see any zeros. As you recall, zero and one are supposed to be our parasitized and non-parasitized. So yeah, this is just uh, everything here, all the information regurgit not regurgitated but everything just spit out as one so you can see here yeah so next i'm going to run it i'm going to run i'm going to run it and remove the actual 
everything else and just use the labels. So the next time I run it, we should be able to see just the labels of one or zero. If we have any zeros in here, which we should. But yeah, we're gonna run it like that. And then after that, we're gonna have to run it another way. And then we we'll have to comment that out and run it a whole another way. Like I said, I'm gonna have to compile, comment out, compile, and comment out a bunch of times. So like I said, instead of just taking the whole morning and trying to compile it, take the whole day compiling during the morning and wasting time and not doing a video. I showed you guys my uh generative AI my generative AI arc so far. And then, yeah, I'll just do this behind the scenes so I can do one comprehensive video of everything that I did with the uh, compiling and walk through it with you like that so I can give you a comprehensive breakdown of what was going on behind the scenes. But that was my morning. Yep, like I said, uh, things, are, things are moving along pretty smoothly, as you can see. As you can see, things are moving along pretty smoothly. So, yeah, I'm not quite there yet. I think I'm moving at a good speed with the uh, prompt engineering, and uh, I'm going to keep moving full speed ahead on that, of course. But, yeah, I will keep you posted every step of the way. But for now, this is the Python Poppy. You guys stay Gucci.